Hello, busy dads and busy people everywhere. This video is the third instalment in a week of videos that we're releasing to help bring you up to speed with the Busy Dad four week mass building program. We're gonna begin that program together on Monday and over the course of this week, I'm going to be releasing the videos that you need to watch to bring yourself up to speed with the core principles of the program so that you can hit the ground running come Monday. So far this week, we've already released one video outlining the three training principles that are going to govern our workouts throughout the program. Okay. And I've also taken you through the two signature movements, the weighted six count and the weighted Navy SEAL, that we're going to be building our training around. That tutorial video is an absolute must if you intend to participate in the program. So if you've not already seen it, please do check it out. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a very, very important topic that we need to bear in mind as we prepare for this program, which is nutrition and supplementation. Once we've covered nutrition and supplementation, tomorrow I'm going to take you through the actual workouts that we'll be performing, and then in the concluding video of the week, I'll be talking you through the backup pull-up practice that you're going to incorporate um, into 28 day mass building program but for today's video we are going to talk about a very very important topic which is nutrition and supplementation and I'm actually going to address those topics in reverse order of importance I'm going to begin by talking about supplementation and then move on to talking about what is really more important which is nutrition okay so first of all then let's tackle supplementation are there any supplements that I would recommend that you take as you move through the program the first thing I want to say before I do make a concrete recommendation is that supplements are much, much, much less important, like orders of magnitude less important than proper diet and nutrition. If you've got the diet and nutrition dialed in, you don't need to take any supplements at all as far as I'm concerned, unless there's a specific nutrient deficit in your diet. For example, you might want to take a B vitamin. Um, but beyond that, you know, protein shakes, pre-workouts, powders, lotions and potions. Most of that stuff I think is completely unnecessary for purpose of muscle gain. None of that stuff is something that I use at all. However, there is one supplement that I do want to recommend to all of you and it is something that I intermittently make use of myself. And that is creatine. Creatine monohydrate is a supplement that I would very, very strongly recommend you consider taking as you move through the Busy Dad four week mass building program and beyond. Taken in the appropriate quantities, creatine is perfectly safe. It's very, very well studied. What I would recommend is to take between three to five milligrams of creatine daily, ideally when you're first consuming calories as you break the fast. Take that with water, okay, and do that for every day of the 28 days of the Busy Dad Mass Building Program. That's certainly something that I will be doing. Why would you take creatine? Well, there are numerous different kinds of benefits. Um, in terms of your training, creatine is going to help you recover more quickly between your workouts, which is going to be very, very valuable in the Busy Dad Program. I just got back from piloting one of the workouts, and I'm going to tell you, my friends, these sessions are hard. And if you're not used to lifting weights, as at this point I'm not, okay, your body is going to get zapped by these sessions and you're going to have some pretty serious muscle soreness to be contending with. Creatine will alleviate that. It'll help you recover more quickly between sessions so that you can show up and bring your A game to the different sessions. So that recovery aspect of creatine is really, really going to be very beneficial. In addition, creatine at least according to some people, will give you a slight edge in terms of your performance throughout the workouts. For myself, I will say that I've not noticed a particularly pronounced performance edge from creatine. Um, to give you an example, when I graduated the Busy Dad program and in the four weeks leading up to that graduation, I wasn't taking creatine. And for many of the PRs that I've set on this channel, I've set them during phases when I'm not taking creatine. Um, and so I haven't found that there's a massive um, performance benefit, but there is definitely a recovery benefit. And another benefit of creatine, perhaps the main benefit, is cognitive. Creatine is an amazing tool for enhancing 
your working memory and your attention. In fact, it wasn't an athlete, but a friend of mine at the university who first recommended creatine as a study aid that he was using as he prepared for his law school exams. Um, and that was the context in which I got to know creatine. Now, aside from the fact that um, boosting concentration and memory is something we should all want to be doing anyway, remember that the sessions that we're doing in this program revolve around mind-muscle connection, presence, attention, concentration. Okay, And so if we can take a supplement that helps us with those um, cognitive tasks, that's going to have a carryover to the quality of our training as well. So I would strongly recommend that you consider buying yourself a tub of good quality creatine monohydrate. It's cheap, um, it's safe, it's very well studied. And if you take between three to five milligrams per day, definitely no more than five, um, you're going to notice some real benefits as you move through the program. Beyond that, there are no supplements that I would really recommend taking. I definitely don't think that you need to take any protein powders or anything like that. As I said, the more important topic for us to talk about is nutrition. How should you be approaching nutrition as you move through the program? I don't really mind how you break down your macronutrients, what kind of dietary approach you want to follow. If you want to take a leaf out of my book, go check out the Busy Dad Nutrition playlist where I talk you through the principles of my own approach. I care less about the kinds of calories you're consuming than I do about how many calories you're consuming. We want to build new mass at the moment, and that means that we need to be in a caloric surplus for the whole of the 28 days as we move through this program. So what I want you to do is go online, look up an online calorie calculator, and you'll be taken to a web page where you enter your age, your gender, your height, your activity levels and you'll get a maintenance calorie calculation. That is the amount of calories that you need to consume in a given day to maintain your current body weight. Since, of course, we want to do more than just maintain our current body weight, we want to build some body weight, my suggestion is then going to be to take 10% of that maintenance calories and add it to your daily caloric intake. One word of caution as you're calculating your daily calories. The online calculator will ask you to estimate your daily activity levels. And there's a whole spectrum from completely inactive to intensely active. Do not make the mistake of overestimating your daily activity levels. If you do that, your maintenance calories will come in too high and you're going to end up eating way too much food if you then add a further 10% onto that. I would recommend plumping for somewhere in the middle of the scale, unless you have a very, very active, demanding physical job. Certainly, the mere fact that you're doing the Busy Dad Four Week Mass Building Program isn't going to send you too high up the scale in terms of activity level. I usually put myself at the moderately active end of the scale. That brings me in at about 2,500 calories a day for maintenance, and so I'm going to be eating 2,750 per day. Okay, So nothing super intense. The Busy Dad Mass Building Program does not give you carte blanche to eat whatever you want. Um, it's very, very important that we don't go overboard with the calories. Okay, if we do, all that's going to happen, unless we're genetic freaks, is that in 28 days' time, we're going to be a bit fatter than we were before. And that is not what we're looking to do. Okay, so yes, we're bulking a little bit. Yes, we're adding calories, but we're being strict about how many calories we're adding. This is a 10% daily increase, no more. So in my case, really that equates to um, a good quality piece of whole grain toast with a, a nice tablespoon full of peanut butter slathered on top of it at about four o'clock in the afternoon. A nice treat, something to look forward to, um, but not a complete overhaul of my approach to nutrition. I'm still going to need discipline to get myself through my day without overeating. Very briefly, um, I want to touch on macronutrient breakdown. I don't mind which dietary approach you follow on the Busy Dad program. Myself, I try to source most of my calories from plant-based foods. I try to eat a lot of vegetables. I put a real emphasis on gut health. The only stipulation I'll make is that you make sure that you get enough protein as you move through the Busy Dad four-week mass building program. How much is enough? The answer to that question is not as much as some people would have you believe. You don't need to eat crazy amounts of protein. You certainly don't have protein requirements that are so high that you're going to need to supplement. Okay, my recommendation would be to land somewhere between 
1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein for every kilogram of body weight. Okay. From what I can understand of the science, once we go beyond that 1.6 figure, there really aren't any um, serious benefits to be had for muscle building um, from a further, further protein consumption. And there are also some health risks long term from eating that much protein. So we really don't need to and shouldn't want to go beyond 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight. Um, and really already when we're at the 1.2 threshold, we're eating a really good amount of protein. I weigh about 75 kilograms and I'm going to plump for around 100 grams of protein per day. So that's bringing me in at about um, 1.3, 1.3, yeah, one and a third grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. So they, that, that will be my recommendation. Eat around about between 1.2 and 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Get a 10% caloric surplus on top of your maintenance calories, conservatively calculated. And if you can, um, and if you're so inclined, but this is totally unnecessary, um, consider supplementing with creatine three to five milligrams a day. I strongly recommend that. Oh, and the final thing that I'll say is, and this should be obvious, but it bears emphasis, drink lots of water. Make sure that you stay hydrated as you move through the program. Okay, my friends, that's it from me in terms of nutrition and supplementation. We've now got the tools in our toolkit that we need um, to learn what those workouts are going to be and visualize what our training week is going to look like. So in tomorrow's video, I'm going to talk you through the four weekly workouts that you're going to be performing in the Busy Dad four-week mass building program. I'll see you later.